the distribute 2D line eye expression allows to place a bunch of layers, layers of 2D layers in a line. And you have many advanced options to make these layers basically fade or move into this line and to be placed a bit less regular and all kinds of stuff like this. So let's start with a simple example. I have here a composition with just a single point here, which is just some shape layer. You can use arbitrary 2D layers um, for this. Maybe let's disable motion blur here to get everything a bit faster. And what I want to do at the beginning is duplicate this point a few times by clicking Ctrl D. Yeah. Let's say I create here in total uh, 17 points. Yeah. And um, what the eye expression now must know is what should be the first point of your layer and what should be uh, the last point. And so in this case I just rename them here to say first and this one here to last. And then I put exactly this here. So you can put here either indices, you could write here something like 17, yeah, uh, or um, you could place here the names and having names here is nicer because then if you change the number of uh, points later uh, it will au automatically uh, move accordingly. Yeah. So let's say here first and this here is our layer last. And if I apply this to of course all these points, so I select all of them and click on apply, then you can see all points are uh, placed on a, uh, a line between this starting point and this ending point here. Yeah? Now it's often convenient to uh, to connect the start and ending points to some layers such that you do not have to, um, uh, uh, such that you can animate them over time and stuff like this. So I go to layer, new null object and duplicate this again, control D and call this here uh, first point and this here second point or let's better rather call it second uh, or let's call this end point. Yeah? Ma names really don't matter. Start point. And now we select the position of the start point and link it here. And now we select the position of the end point and link it here. And now we have a eye expression or a line that follows these two positions. Yeah? So I select again here all these layers and reapply my eye expression. like this. And I also enable auto apply such that from now on every change I perform here will be uh, uh, adjusted here. And now if I move my start point, yeah, so the position of this layer, for example here uh, to, the, to the left, let's say like this, and you can see all the points nicely move. Yeah, let's say here we want to have 900 or so, then now they are nicely distributed. Yeah, and of course you can keyframe these positions here to move your line over time. Okay, another powerful feature that you have in all distribute eye expressions basically is this wiggle feature here. Yeah, for the 2D line it looks as follows. We have here a frequency, an amplitude and a, a wiggle on line. And let's say we set the amplitude here to 100 but keep the frequency at zero. What this makes is that it moves all these points up to 100 away from their line position. Maybe this is a bit much. Let's set this to 20. Uh, now the eye expression is reapplied and you can see now they are a little bit uh, off from their line position. And you can say, see, still everything is static. Yeah? If I move here over time, uh, the line doesn't move at all, but they stay at their position. This is because the frequency is at zero. If we make this here 0 0.5, so a bit larger, and reapply this, you can see now the line is still a bit off, uh, but it is also moving over time. Yeah? So this wiggle has a frequency not equal to zero, therefore uh, really these points uh, are moving. You can see here, now we have this subtile movement going on. If you want a fast movement, you can get this frequency here. Um, then the last thing we have is we can also wiggle on the line. 
So this means let's just enable this option and see what happens. Now you can see that all elements are straight on their line but are shifted back and forth on their line when you're wiggling. Yeah? So with this option they stay on the line but wiggle left to right basically on this line. Let's also take a look um, at this. Ah, and now you can see they are moving on they are moving on their line here. Yeah? Very nicely and very subtle. If you want a faster movement you just need to adjust this frequency here. Okay, all parameters of course can also be uh, animated over time. So what I now want to do is I select here this start point, not its position, but just the start point and link here frequency. And now the tool asks me whether I want to create a new slider control on this null layer. You can have it anywhere, but I like to have it here on this first layer and say yes. And it takes a while to apply. Maybe I just disable here auto apply because I want to do now several changes. So I also want to insert here a con slider control for the amplitude. So I link this also to a new slider. You can see we have now two effects here, namely frequency of distribute to the line and amplitude. Yeah, these two properties are now animatable over time. And I also actually want to uh, do this wiggle online switch. I also want to change this behavior over time. So at first I want to wiggle in all directions and at the end only in this line direction. So therefore I again select just this layer, no property, but just this layer and click here on wiggle online and again say yes, I want to have a new slider. And now I have here such a checkbox yeah, to enable or disable this wiggle online and here the frequency and the amplitude. Now I apply this change to all these layers, first to last, apply, okay, and now let's take a look here at the frequency and the amplitude, they are all zero, therefore nothing is moving at all, yeah, and what I want to have is at the beginning I want to have this amplitude here to be very large, let's say 500, and now the points are completely di randomly distributed, yeah, I set here a keyframe and say after one second it should be zero. And I also want up to here increase this uh, frequency. Yeah? So or let's take a look at this first. Yeah, now you can see it nicely animates in here, but uh, it is very uh, straight. Yeah, it is, it is not swinging very much. And if you want it to continuously swing more, you can, uh, in the opposite way, animate the frequency here from zero to something more. Let's say something like twelve. Uh -huh. And now you can see it is much, much uh, uh, faster wiggling here, so to speak. Yeah. Okay, you can adjust this, you can make it maybe not that much, but let's say put it to something like 2 or so, and then you can easy also add some easy ease to this, keyframe assistant, easy ease. So you cannot see this, but when I click here, right click, and then you have keyframe assistant, uh, easy ease, then you get a very nice behavior that it slowly swings in here. Anyway, I'm not going into the details of this. Um, of course, you can now animate over time by uh, changing this checkbox here to also just wiggle in this position. Yeah. So let's say we keyframe the checkbox to be here off. And now let's say from here on we want it to be on. Yeah, now here, oops. At this point, it should be off the wiggle on line. So in other words, here we are not wiggling on the line. And if I now start here, increasing again our amplitude, let's say we put here a keyframe, and then here another keyframe where we increase here. Um, the offset, you can see that now it starts wiggling just on the line because we've set this here with a checkbox to on. If we set it to off, can see immediately it distributes in all directions. So the wiggle is not just nice to make it a little bit less regular, but also to fade in and out, stuff like this. The last thing I want to mention is this use keyframe value as offset thing. Uh, let's enable this again and now apply it to all these layers again. 
apply. The nice thing if you do this is that now you can also move each point individually on top of its placement on the line. You can see now all points jumped here to the right and this is because they all have, if I look at P, position of these elements, if I look at the position and double click on it you can see this is the uh, position value of it, yeah, 43 and 219 and so at all points were moved by 43, 219 in this direction and if I now set this here back to 0, 0, you can see the point moves back to, to where it should be. 0, 0. Yeah. And now it's not exactly back because it's uh, wiggling, but, but anyway. So with this you can now even animate the points over time on top of the line. You have to want them to move in or out of the line. You can do it with this. I, uh, I explained this a little bit more in detail with uh, distribute 2D random. So if you're interested in this feature, it's the same for all these eye expressions. Just look at this one. There's one last thing that I want to show you about this distribute 2D line and this is a very powerful layer offset feature. This is also something that comes with many distributor eye expressions and the idea is as follows. So I've reset here now everything to, to the basic setup, so removed all the wiggling and so on and now we want to move this, animate this layer offset here over time. So therefore I again select some layer as for example the start point layer where I want to create a slider. So I link it here and say yes I want to have here a new control and now I have here offset of distribute 2D line slider. If I apply this eye expression as it is now to all these layers from first to last, apply, you can see at first sight nothing happened. Yeah? And what we have now with this offset is the following. If we say uh, here an offset of 1, look at this very first point here. I will select it. Yeah. Oops, now the first point jumped from this position behind the last one. So an offset of 1 means the first one jumps behind the last one. An offset of 2 means also the second point jumps behind. And offset of 5, let's say, means the first 5 points jump behind those. Yeah. So this is really Let's lower the opacity here of the first point of the start point to make this visible. S uh, sorry, of this first point here, T opacity. You can see that now this first point is here. Yeah, the first point that was originally here is now here because the first five points jumped here. Okay, why do you want to do this? The very useful situation in which you want to do this is when you want to fake the impression that you would have many, many dots, many more than you see on screen uh, simultaneously. Yeah? We do the following thing. I move here, uh, let's first set this offset again to zero. And now let's move the position of this start point here to x value zero and this one here to 1000, uh, what is again the size of my composition? 1280. Yeah. So now we have the lines distributed here over the entire um, screen and now let's assume we want to move them over time. Yeah. So we set a keyframe here and say at, at the very end they should actually be, I just keep them here and drag them over with the shift key pressed. So I just move them here way off. Yeah, now our layers are placed here. And assume we want the impression that here is an infinite line continuing to move with new points always. Yeah. So one thing you could do is to make, okay, just more points. Do not have uh, the 18 points or how many we have here. Yeah, but, um, or 17, but do more points. But then of course, the more points you add, the slower it will get. And of course you do not need these points that are outside of the visible area here anyway. So what we therefore do is we go here to our offset and set here a keyframe of zero. And here at the end, now we try a bit, let's say uh, 15. Yeah, this means the first 15 points jump here behind the last one. Yeah, we here are still some unnecessary points here that we can move here. 15, let's say 17. 
can have even 18, which is more than the number of layers that we have here. So the layers continuously start jumping behind. And if we now take a look at this, you can see that it seems like more and, po more, and more points come from here and here points are disappearing, but what, what effectively is happening is that always when a point disappears here, it jumps here and reappears at this side. Yeah? So this is very convenient if you want to get the impre or to, to make the impression that you would have much more ob objects that you actually have to make uh, objects from the beginning jump back to the end. And this can simply be done with this nice offset slider here.